It's a pepperoni. Heard of it? Okay, so I get this all the time. I get th this is actually why we made the show because so many people around the world are not allowed to draw unless a live streamer tells them they're allowed. And all over the world, millions, billions of people, trillions of people actually say this, that they have this experience. And that's why we decided that we should make a show where a live streamer says, hey, paints. Yep, that's right. So let's do a little bit of mousekeeping. That's a mouse sweeping a broom. That's mouse sweeping a broom. And I tell you the rules of the show. That's why it's called mouse keeping, I guess. Um, so, yeah. It is more public service than live stream. I was using the phrase live stream to try to get young people excited. And by young people, I... I guess I mean tweens. Anyways, here's the rules of the show. I paint, and you paint. And you can also draw, or do embroidery, or do anything. Come on, you do visual art, come on. And um, you share your art with us. 
with hashtag Mary Painting Party or email it to Mary Houlihan XOXO at gmail.com. And then we screen share it and we say, Well, good job, you did such a good job. Um, we refreshed Twitter all night, so if you're new, that could be a good place to post. But if you don't like Twitter, if that makes sense, you could email it. Um, oh my god, where are my manners? The theme tonight is flora and fauna. Yup, that's right. Plants and animals, pretty much. And so, Happy's an animal. Are you an animal? But are you a cute little plant, too? No, I'm not a plant. I'm just a, a little guy. Oh, okay. Well, folks, you heard it here first. He's just a little guy. Okay, let's see. What's everybody saying in the chat? What are you going to call Sears? Like yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday you say call Sears. I have a friend named Flora, and her sister is not named Fauna. Yes, the parents should be punished. Where is Abigail? Noah is out printing instruction packets for embroidery kits. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? That's very, that's cool. That's cool! Tell us how we can get those kits. If you want. Okay. Not gonna lie. I literally just got home. So, oh, I just made myself full screen on my computer. And I don't need to do that. How do I? Oh, okay. Nice! I just got home. So I'm frantically putting my little setup together. I got on here. The show's supposed, supposed to start at 9 typically. I got on the call at like 8.50 something. And Forrest saw me and Happy walk down the street. Come it's on. true. Turn horizontal. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Oh, so, yeah, now I'm sitting down. Trying to get my paint together. You know, sometimes... Sometimes I can open up my palette. My palette paper. And there's still wet paint. And it's the best feeling in the world. But today, it's not quite one of those days. So, uh, a couple of these dollops are damp. But I'm gonna need to squeeze some more paint. I know, I know. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to anybody. Okay, let's put this in the middle. That would be nice to look at. Let's see. Titan buff. I don't usually use that color. Titan buff is like a weird white. Mary, why'd you just get home? Why are you frazzled and just setting up? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I had been scheduled to the brim at the hair salon. Oh, wow. I was supposed to... I have a heart out on Thursday nights. I say, I have a heart out. I have a thing that I do. I, I can't get into it. And they're like, okay. So, I'm supposed to leave by 8. But today, a bunch of people caught out sick. And I had to stay a little later. Um... Have you decided on your other name? Oh since God. there's already a Mary. No. <laughs> 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 no. 
week three of me not knowing. Folks, if you haven't heard, I need to come up with a new name at the salon. At first, I was like, what are you talking about? But then I was like, oh, okay. Um, pretty much because I realized a bunch of people that work there have fake names. And today, I received my first tip. And so, when they gave me, when they gave me a little, um... Um, you know, a tiny baby tip envelope with my name on it. Then one of the stylists, she said, you should come up with a fake name because you don't want your tips mistakenly going to this other gal. And I said, hmm, yes. Now, I think it is a good idea. I don't think they would go to her. But I guess it makes it easier for everyone else. And by everyone else, I mean the person working at the front desk who takes tips. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Because even accidentally, you know, mm -hmm. I think you give her some of those tips. Those, uh, Alice tips. says the music is a little hot. Can we make yeah, it Yeah, I'm going to turn hot? it down. I'm going to make it cooler. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I do like the name Blondie. Can someone say that? Did Emily say that? Who said yeah, that? Emily said it should be Blondie or Curly because your hair is straight. Blondie is good. Um, I think Tiny could also be good. Potatoes Molasses is suggesting Frenchie, like in Greece. Oh, uh, Alice suggests Slick. Slick? What about Slim? Slim. Slim is such a funny name. I had a friend back when I was really into fixed gear bikes. Um, yeah, it's true. I was a fixed gear girl. One of my friends that I would ride around with, he would always say, Slow down, Slim. Um, oh. Not to me, like to everyone. And, oh, okay. And it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Slim. And I'm like, I can't even remember if he was quoting something or just being totally random. But you have to admit, you have to admit, being rando, being totally rando, it's a little played out. We know, we know. But being totally rando is pretty funny. It often is pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. Let's face it, being rando is funny. Oh, we gotta face it. Come on. Come on. Okay. What flora or fauna will I paint? I mean, I guess probably some kind of plant. <laughs> I've been really into rhododendrons, aka azaleas. Lately, he keeps seeing them, and then Harry says, "Is that a rhododendron?" And I say, "Yeah, it is." So, that might be a sign. Um, today, did I? I think I told you guys that we had a little contest kind of thing in cosmetology school called total look and that it had created some drama right i told you this i told you about the drama from uh people's total look contest groups breaking up and reforming and this, that was like where the people hopped out of groups yes, and yes. stuff i mean as you're all back to school slim so yeah, today was the day of the big total look contest. Let's see, do I have, where is that? I gotta show you pics of the total look contest. Yeah. Because, we, I mean, I want to know, did leaving that group work out for that person? Oh, my God. 
You thought there was group drama before. I did. There was group drama today. <gasps> Big <gasps> was the talk of the town. Oh, wow. Oh, I think, okay, so press on there. Let me open my photos app. Oh my god, beautiful. Okay, and then share screen. Yes. Okay, not to be a bitch, but we did such a good job. Oh, wow. Okay. Put this over here. So, I went to Kinko's and made an art gallery style little plaque for our display. Chrome Core. What's Chrome Core? It's an aesthetic popularized in the 90s and 2000s, a hallmark of Y2K style. Metallic liquid cosmetics, fashion, hair accessories, and film sets can be seen in music videos. There are Aaliyah, Missy Elliott, TLC, and many more. Advances in computer graphics even led to a trend in movies and TV of people morphing into silvery liquid, as seen in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The Secret World of Alex Mack, and believe it or not, Capri Sun commercials. I love that you folded in Alex Mack to this. And look at us! Look at how freaking cute we are. So yes, you know, um, our friend did leave our group to go um, be in a clown-themed group, and. Um, that's okay. Um, both of us looked great. Both of our groups looked great. And um, she seems... Uh, the girl who left the group because she was, um, I think, miffed at my pink hair friends. I think they've... I think she seems less miffed. They're kind of chatting more and stuff. Well, that's good. Yeah. I did like the chrome backdrop and everything you had, too. Oh, yes. So... Yeah, so we have this gorgeous chrome. I mean, come on. Come on. Okay, how cute are we? So, okay, let me get... Um, oh. So, yeah, we were taking pictures of Joe Andre's makeup, and then we were like, oh, wait a second. We have we made that beautiful backdrop. What are we doing? So then we turned around. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I feel wow. really happy with how this came out so yeah I did that's pretty. nice i did her makeup she did my makeup let's get ooh, yeah that's that's the shot right there come on now look at that how cool is that holographic that's so good i think that looks quite good i'm very yeah. proud of myself and yes i did the lips as well they look quite cool she looks great. So our like main inspo for her look was Aaliyah um, in the Try Again video, in the Are You That Somebody video. And you know, I think I think she looks great. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but she looks great. Um, let's see. Has this reinforced the don't have besties in beauty school advice at all um, or does that still seem overblown i think it's a good rule but we haven't we haven't seen any besties um blow up yet okay oh, oh and two girls <gasps> had um a barbie theme and so they said you're good at drawing can you make us a sign so i made them a little sign that's a great Barbie logo. Right? Free hand, baby. Wow. I know. Okay, how cute are we? Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, I got us these um, stupid outfits that I really hope will get accepted as a return with a full <laughs> refund. That's 
It's my dream. <laughs> okay, here my little class. Everyone's looking so cute. See, there's the clowns. These are the Barbie girls. She looked like Doja Cat. She had her hair flipped. Those are fairy girls over there. So this girl, very sweet girl. As you can see, she is presenting by herself because her entire group is loaded. So, you know, that was sort of a scene. Oh, no. Today. Yeah, that was a scene. She looks so, she looks so cute. That's, that turned out so well. So, um, yeah, there was sort of quite a commotion with that that little blonde girl, she came to school and she was in a little bit of a sad face mood. And she said, you know what? I'm just a little bit bummed that I, you know, decided to do a theme for this that this other girl wanted to do. And look at me here doing this project alone. Nobody, nobody's here. Nobody contributed. This bums me out. And so then one of the girls did show up late. And um, our teacher said, you know what, um, little blonde girl, if you're if you're really upset about this, tell her, you should tell her. And then, you know, if, if you feel like you've done all the work, you guys don't have to be in the group. You guys can do your own looks today. Mm -hmm. And so this little blonde girl, she went to the other girl and said, you know, I'm kind of disappointed. I did all the work. And so then that other girl said, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. tired of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> she got so mad. She was very mad. And everyone in the class was like, I, it was impossible not to overhear and eavesdrop. I mean, you have a pick of our classroom. It's not a big room. No. And so she was really, you know, saying that this is bullshit and fuck you. <laughs> and she was quite mean. And the girl who was, you know, saying, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. The mad girl. The girl that was mad. She's older than me. She's mm -hmm. older than me. The girl who was like, excuse me, it kind of hurts my feelings that I did all the work. She's 20. She's 20. She's very young. Yeah. Um, she's a little naive, dare I say. She's just a young thing. And I think we were all kind of like, bitch, why the fuck are you yelling at this kid? That's like really mean and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then the rest of the day was sort of that other girl like fucking off and like leaving the room and being like, fuck this shit. And everyone being like, little blonde girl, are you okay? Do you want some help? And well, sort of. I have not seen season three of I Think You Should Leave yet, but I want to. It's very fun. I want it's to very watch good. It. Oh. You know what else is really good? What is it? Viewer art. <laughs> Shut up! No way. From Slappy Phil. <laughs> That's quite good. What the hell? Why'd you get so good? <laughs> you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at pics of rhododendrons and they're kind of a snooze, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, okay. Slappy Phil says that he got so good from watching you. Really? Okay, music 
to my ear as much. Okay, share screen. Window, no, from tab. Yup. Okay, let's try to keep this, maybe. Wow, a Chrome Core Themes painting party? Now I've heard of everything. Um, that would be a fun one. It would be fun. So is this a I really different? think I really think I should return my item, though. This is a rhododendron. Very cool, huh? Pretty cool. And good luck on returning the crow. Thank you. I tried really hard to make it look totally virginal mm -hmm. and fresh out the box and say, mm, this style was not as I expected. And get a nice fat refund. Nice. Okay. There's there are a couple of teeny tiny scuffs, I think. I, mean, I don't think it's enough scuffed to be a problem, but it might be. It might it's be. a fine line. It's tough. Malia is asking if anyone else has seen the live action Little Mermaid. I have not. I haven't Malia, yet either. Tell us about it. They have thoughts. Do you like it? Tell us. Come on. Quit hogging. Share your thoughts. Come on. Oh, Malia says it was better than expected, which is a low bar, and it was honestly pretty fun. What? What's fun about it? And they like sing those songs or what? I think they have all the old songs and a new one new song in the middle. Wow. The main one I've heard about is Aquafina has a rap in it. She plays one of the birds. Jealous. Um Oh, right. I went to North Carolina. Maybe I'll talk oh, yeah. about that. Let's see. Do I have any fun picks? Oh, yeah. Specifically, a, a Linda Manuel Miranda rap. Slappy Phil's. Ah! <laughs> That's and funny. Malia says all the actors are honestly very, very well cast, but like. You would have scenes where they were very charming and nice, and then a scene where they were very clearly in a blue screen soundstage acting to avoid. That's pretty funny. That makes sense. I was, um, I saw a clip from an interview where Melissa McCarthy is talking about, you know, being on set with. Um, Hallie Bailey. It's Hallie, right? It's not Chloe. With Hallie Bailey. And, you know, yeah. what it's like being on set with her and working with her and blah, blah, blah. And I bet it hit me. I was like, like, they're, you know, they're talking about, you know, being underwater mermaids and stuff. And I'm like, oh, right. So they were just like, doing all CGI. Like, they were just, like, sitting in a room together on, oh, like, yeah. like, rocks or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> on big fake rocks. Apparently uh, there's three new songs. Wow! Now I've heard of everything. Okay, so here's Harry and his sister in beautiful Wilmington. North Carolina. 
Oh. Here's, I saw this for sale. When words fail, music speaks. This was for sale in the souvenir shop for nineteen dollars. Oh wow! When words fail, music speaks. Smart. Okay, it was raining so much, pretty much the whole time we were there. So we went to this um, kind of freak show museum type place. Whoa. Uh, so here the guy is eating um, swords. Oh, cool. Yes. Very good. Oh. Look at him go. And he takes him out. Oh. Harry said that he was pretty sure that his mouth was bleeding. Oh no. And I didn't notice it, so now that I'm watching this video, I'm a little bit like, is it bleeding? And so here's a little doll. <laughs> and that's sort of what that museum was like. And here I am with Pinhead. And you, the pinhead? There were certain places in this museum where they had signs that said picture zone, which meant you were allowed to take pictures. And I took some inspo pics of cutie gardens. They had the cutest little cutie gardens in Wilmington. I mean, hey, talk about flora. Yup. They've got it. Look. It looks like little peppermints. How cute. What a charming place. And all the houses were totally cute. Little doll houses. Okay, here's Harry and his sister in front of this um, YouTube video that was projected at a bar. So, yeah. Here we are on the beach. It's very windy. Oh yeah, pretty big time, and there's Happy. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's his walker. Yes, it might have been ketchup on the swords. Callie and Melissa McCarthy were doing so much and were great for the roles, but goddamn, this production did them zero favors and surround them by CGI goo for so much. Yeah. <laughs> we must never let Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> I feel like they would um, take over television. Like literally there would never be another television show ever again, not made by them. I just feel like they have that um, power in the industry. Absolutely, that prove, would just- Prove me I'm wrong. Prove it to me. Prove me they wouldn't end TV. <laughs> You can't. I can't. Thank you for admitting that, finally. Malia says when they put this movie on Disney Plus in six months, you should drink a bottle of wine and watch it, though. Because it's still fun, okay. and Prince Eric is dreamy in a he-they lesbian sort of way. Interesting. Who plays Prince Eric? Some guy. There's some guy, right? Jonah Howard King. Okay. He was in Little Women, A Dog's Way Home, The Lion King. All right. I buy it. He exists. Hmm. 
Yeah, he may be a... Th- Mel, Mel says that uh, Jonah may be a theater guy, but he does a good job with a yearning ballad. Ooh. Let's face it. That was Disney folks. They put together a good song. They got a knack for having songs. I've heard of an I want song, but a yearn song? Um, wait, can I say something super fucked up? (laughs) I feel like people are going to think that I'm just saying this to be provocative. But I honestly believe this. Honestly. And it's possible, it's possible that this is a good song and it just hasn't clicked for me yet. But I honestly believe Let It Go from Frozen. It's just like, what? (laughs) (laughs) I don't get a big deal. I don't find it catchy. I I don't find it catchy or inspirational. I'm just like, why is everyone acting like this song? Yeah, uh, Mary, that's a... Am I wrong? I just feel like you put that up against a tale as old as time, or um, uh, I could show you the world. Those songs are really, really catchy. I mean, those are very, very. Until you wear there, it's crystal clear. That is so. What a catchy, catchy, catchy song. Let go. I just don't hear it. I don't hear it, but everyone acts like, oh my god, it's like genius. Okay, this I think is quite a, a good take. Yeah. Great singer, incredible vocal ability, you know, it's, it's formidable talents. I mean, hello, incredibly, incredibly talented woman. What? Her voice can do such amazing things. Mid song. It's a mid song. Come on. But I can't but, even tell you the lyrics other than let it go. Because none of them hook you. Sorry. Sorry, let it go. But, well, yeah, I... Um, I think I agree. I think people who were children for that movie, they get Let It Go. I don't get it. And it makes me, you know, question is, you know, the magic carpet ride, is that not, is that, is that nostalgia working? But I don't think it is. I really just think it's objectively a much catchier song. I do tend to get Do You Want to Build a Snowman stuck in my head more than Let It Go. It's catchier. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Try me. Try me in court. Okay. So, um, yeah, at salon, at the salon, two people had to call out, and I know, kind of an S show. Not, you know, I wouldn't say it's really an S show, it's just more, I have a heart out, and they were like, can you please close? And I was like, I can stay a little late. But that's that's all I can't guarantee I can close, but I can stay a little late. And I know, I know. 
it must have been annoying to do to do all this stuff. I have to end it right there. Um Did you end up closing? No. Oh. I did a lot of stuff. I tried my best to make it so the other girl didn't have anything to do. Yeah. But I was not successful for it. I I did a lot. I did a lot. But still, I felt bad leaving her any work to do. I mean, you have a hard out. I have a hard out. And, you know, I said, oh, I said to the one, the, like, lead intern supervisor girl, I said, I have another gig. I have another gig that starts at nine. So I'll, I'll do my best. I'll stay a little late. But I can't stay forever late. And then the that poor girl that had to close, I said to her, uh, it's just, I have to be somewhere at nine. And it's time to go. And I did not tell him that I was um, live streaming, that I, you know, have a responsibility to live stream. And, you know, I... I think I was worried that they wouldn't understand. And that would be too much to explain. So yeah, I'm a live streamer. I also feel like since doing cosmetology school and working in the salon, whenever I have to like talk about um, my life or what I do outside of uh, beauty things, my explanation always includes, um, so I'm 33, like I look, like you think that I'm 20, but I'm actually like a grown up um, and like have uh, already like had a career and a um, lot of success. And um, uh, that's, that's so, yeah, that's why I'm verified on Insta and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm not 19. I'm a um, grown woman. Um, so, anyway, so I had this last. Yesterday, I ended up telling a 20-year-old who works at the salon um, that I'm writing a book about moving to a, a cabin, and I feel, I just feel like, I just feel like, because she's not, like, part of the literati, or like terminally online. It was hard to explain to her. Like, she was like, oh, you're writing a book? Like, are you like a weirdo? I think it's like, probably like what she was thinking. Um, and she like, didn't understand that I'm like, no, like I've like been in like the New Yorker and McSweeney's and like, um, like bullshit that like normal people don't care about, but like to um, to nerds online, like this is like a big deal, and so I have to worry about my book. It's actually really important to me to finish my book. And I feel like she was like, but anyways. Mm -hmm. Kiss the girl. Don't be shy. Wow, wow. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for this spicy take. No, that was a that was a good. That was a good. Sorry for this spicy take, but That's a very good song. It's a very good song. I know the meaning. The lyrics are a little like, what? But you got to admit with the background singers and the wah, wah, wah. Sha -la 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 oh, what a cool song. What a, you're telling me they didn't have that song? Not even an instrumental. Really, anything. they kept it. They kept it. Malia they kept says it. they kept it, but they rewrote a couple oh, lines. Oh, okay. 
So I was like, no, 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 don't be shy. Ask her what she, ask her if she's interested. <laughs> Kiss the girl. <laughs> Kiss the girl with enthusiastic consent. Yes, kiss the la, girl. La, 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 don't be shy. Hang out with her as a friend first, and then make sure you're getting a vibe. And if you're not sure you're getting a vibe, you know, just bring it up. No shame in just bringing it up. Is that the lyrics? I'm trying. I'm trying to find the rewritten. So, yeah, I guess what I'm getting at is I'm not ready to tell my co-workers that I'm a Thursday Night Live streamer. And to be fair, I did try to explain it to um, my boss, the owner of the salon. And he was just sort of looking at me like, what? And I was like, it's like a video, but I... Anyways, folks, folks, if you would like to put a tip into a tiny envelope, just like this one, Venmo me, please, if you want. I don't know, like, a dollar. Less than a dollar? I don't know. I'm rich now. Woo! I um, am very happy with that tip, though, because I was shampooing a mohawk. I was shampooing a fellow with a mohawk. And folks, that's not a lot of hair. Not a lot of hair at all. So I wasn't expecting a tip. I figured he was going to be like, uh, the shampoo didn't count. That's good, though. So good tip I, on the mohawk. That's a solid fellow. I think. So Malia has it, what I think are the actual rewritten lyrics. Yes. You want her look at her, you know you do. Possible she wants you too. Use your words, boy, and ask her if the time is right. And the time is tonight. Go on. Kiss the girl. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That. That's good. That's good. I'm glad they updated the song because oh you can't cut that song. What a catchy little song. Oh yeah, anyways, here's some flowers. I did get um actually reprimanded at work the other day for wearing crops. Oh I said that they were not professional enough. I was livid. I was livid. I mean, wouldn't you be for us? I would be very livid if I couldn't wear Crocs. I think they're super profesh. I think they look great. I don't yeah. think fashion forward. Yeah. I think they look like a NYC cutie girl, which, right. well, that's what's, the, what we're trying to sell to the, you know, chic New Jersey women come on brian would also be livid so i was a little bit livid but now um i'm less livid yeah i don't think you'd be a lasting livid just like in the moment like oh really i was like come on Fuck. well because i wore that i wore them last week i wore them last oh. week and, I said anything. and so a girl who was out last week yesterday she said you can't wear crocs and i was like no one had a problem with it last week. You're huh. being weird. That is weird. So that was sort of how I felt. 
Um, but then I was reading um, a sheet about wardrobe. Um, about dress code uh, at work that was like left at some of the stylist desks for their eyes. And you know, it said to wear this and don't wear this. And it had some things on it um, of like, it, it, one of the things it said, this is a fancy schmancy place. And so the services cost a lot. And so you can get really nice tips because the services are expensive. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things on it said, you can't wear this, you can't wear that, don't wear that. It said um, ripped jeans, which I'm wearing today. Whoops, maybe I want next time. It said ripped jeans. Please don't wear them because how'd they phrase it? It said something of like, we know they're cool and trendy, duh, but, like, certain, you never know if, like, um, someone else who works in the salon, who kind of dresses more dapper, if their clientele would see you and then almost, like, dock their stylist pay because they're like, I thought this salon huh. was supposed to blah, blah, blah. And so they sort of phrase it like, um, you might mess with someone else's money um, being a trendy cutie. And I feel like I'm, I don't know that I'm really expressing the sentiments in a convincing way to you guys right now. But when I read it, I was like, oh, I'm, yeah, I could see that. I don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to like. Yeah. I don't want to mess someone else up. Yeah. Even if I'm like, what? I'm hip and young and trendy, and my clients are gonna be hip, young, and trendy. Fuck you! I'm gonna wear ripped jeans and Crocs. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> um, I don't want anyone else to have. Uh, their clients be sassy to them or something. On the Crocs, Potatoes Molasses wants to know, aren't there whole list clog versions for nurses that fly under the radar? Okay, but so this is what made me livid. <laughs> <laughs> this is what made me livid was that I was wearing my platform pink fashion Crocs that are very hip, trendy red carpet, very now. Oh. And so I was like, these are hip and trendy and but there we're not allowed to wear them at school because of chemicals and OSHA and stuff but at the salon it doesn't matter uh, you know you can't have chemicals get on your feet and hurt you so I I says to the girl I says to the girl oh because of the holes I have um crops in my car that don't have holes let me go get them and she said mm, no crocs no crocs we're going for a professional so that made me mad because huh. i was like i just don't one i just don't agree two i wore these lessons. yeah and the burns would at least be like well okay fair enough but those, the Crocs without holes, I feel like don't look. I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't think they look less professional than what other people wear on their feet. No, they don't look any less professional. They, they just look like clogs. They just yeah. look like regular clogs. Yeah, and Brian pointing out they make them for restaurants too where there's no holes and they're non-slip. So yeah, I was livid. I like that we've all gotten livid. <laughs> you know? I'm kind of, I mean, honestly, 
I got over it, but now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, I do want to wear those Crocs. I do want to wear those Boris Crocs because they're so comfy and they look fine. You know what I think could help take your mind off of off of the lividness over the Crocs? What? This viewer art oh from Sir I. Shut up. It started as a red oh, panda. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And we've also got this from CBC 9000. Come on now. Page that's full. That's good. Come on now. That's very cool. That's very cool. What the hell? And then Noah also made it home. That's quite cool. To stitch a lavender sprig. So we got some fauna in the mix here. Now this. We got some flora in the mix, I should say. Uh, yeah, speaking, yeah, of, should. speaking of fauna, happy. Happy, you baby. You should Oh, but speaking of eating, I'm getting word that it's time for everyone's favorite new segment. I hope you're hungry. For dinner. Okay, this one's actually shocking. This one's shocking. I'll give you three guesses. Wow. Because that's how shocking it is. I mean, I'm shocked already. I can't imagine how we'll feel when we find out yep. what it is. Yup. Pizza, pizza from Alice. Wrong. Okay. Not Strike pizza. one. Strike out pizza. Pizza's eliminated. A big, oh, so it's only three collectively for all of us. Right. Okay, Noah okay. says a bagel sandwich. A bagel sandwich? Strike two. Eh. Uh-oh. Only three guesses. I'm nervous. Oh, Slappy Phil, is it nothing yet? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. Ding, ding. I didn't eat it yet. <laughs> Slappy didn't Phil. I didn't eat it yet. I'm so tired. <laughs> Oh my god, and then I wake up and I do it again, baby. I'm gonna ask for less days. Less days to work. It's too many. It's too many days. It is too many days. I need to eat. Why? Yes, let me fill use context clues because you got home late. Smart. Okay. Somebody's smart. Ooh, la, la. Don't be shy. Uh, 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 uh. Feed me. <laughs> well, is that it for viewer art? Yeah, we've looked at all the viewer art. Then, <laughs> literally, I think I should eat dinner. I think I you should eat dinner. eat dinner, not for nothing. Not for nothing. I think I should eat dinner. Folks! Good idea. Folks, you are, of course, welcome. Give me a little tip on Venmo. Or give Forrest a little tip. Um, via his Patreon. And, well, I can't believe an hour has gone by. I guess I've been driven mad by hunger. I don't <laughs> even know <laughs> how normal time passing feels anymore. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.